Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to activate notification in Zenbot in order to send it to the platform that you would like um, to have an eye on. Okay, so the platform I'm going to use today is called Slack. I guess that most of you know what it is, so that's an instant messaging platform in order to uh, discuss with your colleagues, let's say. And um, in order to integrate so Slack, it's very easy. You just need to, okay, look here at the documentation and they are telling you, okay, in order to activate Slack, the only thing that you need is to supply what we call a webhook URI. So it's very easy. Um, the only thing that you need to do is just to type in API Slack, okay? So, um, and then you just uh, click here. And it's very straightforward. So you just click on start building and it's going to ask you which app uh, would, you act, would you like to, to create. So kind of easy to do in a, in a couple of clicks. And then uh, you will access to this uh, specific part. So by default, they will put you here on basic information. But in your case, what you need to do is just to click here on incoming webhooks and then to activate it and down below you have this uh, web hooks that you will need actually to just uh, copy and paste. And you need to copy and paste it within your conf file. So here I'm on conf sample, but in your case, you have a conf.js uh, file and you just need to go down below and just uh, check. So it's gonna be Slack here. So here you just copy and paste your webhook that you get through the api.slack and here you put it on true and you save your file okay and once it's done it means that it's set you have the connection which is made through slack and zenbot so let's go back now to zenbot in itself so what i'm gonna do now is to show you that it works so i have here my bitfinex platform and i have here my slack activity so i just made actually um, um, a transaction some minutes ago in order to prove me that it was working because i just started to use it okay and now what i'm going to do is just uh, to launch zenbot so i'm going to make a sell order uh, from bitcoin cash to usd dollar i'm going to put my um, mark at uh, 200 and I'm gonna fire this, and we're gonna see how Slack is going to react. So let's go for it. Okay, so this is how it reacts. Actually, it's telling you, okay, uh, an order has been submitted. So this one is uh, from Bitfinex, okay? But this one is definitely from Slack. And from Slack, it's then telling me, whoops, so this is what's happening on Bitfinex, okay. Um, the price is, of course, very high, but that's in order to, let's say, debug for me. And so those are the notification of Bitfinex, but the notification regarding Slack has been sent, as you saw, uh, through the notification here, and as well are pushed to the channel that I... Um, that I selected. So here is telling me, okay, uh, we place a sell order at this price and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, I don't really know. I don't really uh, know if it's useful to do it because as you saw, actually Bitfinex was already sending some notifications. So probably Slack also have actually an integration uh, from Bitfinex to Slack, but I just wanted to show you actually uh, what does it look like and how easy it was to configure. Hope you like it.